let us now discuss how this internet works. How the email you send to your friend is received by your friend's computer located at another country or continent. When you are working in your computer in your home without connecting to the internet, your computer is a standalone system. But whenever you connect to the internet by dialing to your internet service provider using your modem, you become a part of the network. The ISP is the link between the internet backbone through which the entire data route and the user. The ISP connects to the internet backbone at network access points or NAP. These NAPs are provided by the large telecommunication companies at various regions. These large telecommunication companies connect the countries and the continents by building and maintaining the large backbone infrastructure to route data from NAP to NAP. ISPs are connected to this backbone at NAP and are responsible to build and manage network locally. So when you dial internet through modem, you first become a part of the local ISP, which in turn connect to the internet backbone through NAP. The data is routed through this backbone and sent to the destination NAP, where the ISP of your friend's network is located. As soon as your friend dials his modem to connect to the internet, the data is delivered to your friend's computer. Sometimes, we interchangeably use the term internet and world wide web or simply the web as it is popularly known as. But web is only one of the several utilities that internet provides. Some of the popular service that internet provides other than web is email, Usenet, messaging service, FTP, etc. The web use HTTP protocol to communicate over internet and to exchange information. The web was developed at CERN by a UK scientist Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. It consists of all the public websites and all the devices that access the web content. WWW is an information sharing model which is developed to exchange information over the internet. There are plenty of public websites which is a collection of web pages available over the internet. These web pages contain plenty of information in the form of text, video, audio, and picture format. These web pages are assessed using an application software called a web browser. Some of the examples of popular web browsers are Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, Firefox.